we completely and utterly annihilate our foes, but take some heavy casualties at the same time. Luckily, none of our guys from Defenders of Larissia took any casualties, as they didn't quite get to do anything like that. But, then again, it's not too bad. Right, okay, we still got some agents to kill, I see. So, I'm not going to be too pleased, but that said, fingers crossed, within a turn or two we'll have them. So, the Illyrian Fe Confederation, though, still kind of a threat. We have got a navy, though, which, if, if necessary, we can try and go, I'll go for it now, save. So, we'll see what we can do. What kind of navy do they have? I reckon it's going to be kind of a tough fight, though. And also, we're lagging, and they're withdrawing the cowards. So clearly, we have the advantage. Okay, we'll, we'll pursue, obviously. Okay, so, you, who are you? You are the 10,000. I think you're also going to guard that area. Oh, it's a little laggy today. Alright, so, that's not bad. We, we did pretty well, actually. Um, taking, obviously, we took some heavy casualties. Now comes the laborious task. Yes, we want that. I can't convert, so I'll have to wait till next turn. Um, yeah, we did lose a fair amount of units, though, so we will gain a little bit in income for that. from that. Uh, the Lazy Battalion is still not doing anything, which is good. We're not doing too bad vis-a-vis -vis monetary gain, but I think, I think this new settlement will help us out a lot, especially since we're going to be pushing up towards capturing this settlement as well, the um, Azida, because then we can actually, fingers crossed, get some mother trucking trade around here. Because so far, we've still got no form of trade whatsoever, though, unfortunately, I fear they aren't so happy with me. Are they not happy? No, they're not happy at all. In fact, I think my war with the Illyrian Confederation has possibly caused some upset amongst this region. So we may have to deal with these people from the north, and perhaps try to solidify our presence here as well, but generally speaking, I want to hurry up and get this sort of thing re sorted and readied up. Punching a hole straight through is possibly required. But anyway, oh, they've captured both of those now. Oh, bollocks. Right, okay. Oh dear. Oh well. Anyway, that's it. We did win. So, another victory for Sparta, which is nice. And on to the next turn. Oh, what's this? Character has an unassigned skill. Ready for battle. Handy. At your command. Oh, apparently I ranked up this guy rather than the other guy who actually fought. Um, that is helpful actually. And what's this? Zeal, marine, cunning. Um, I think cunning again. I guess it's not that too bad. Right, next turn. So, extra food, which is nice. I'm kind of worried, to be honest with you guys, because I'm, I'm doing bulk recording, so fingers crossed this will hopefully not be too much of an issue, but with the regards to the new update coming into effect, um, I'm kind of worried that that might happen, and we may end up losing this campaign as well as the other one so soon as well after the other one, and I'm like, right, that's annoying. So, definitely for the next campaign, if we are to succeed with this one, I'm not going to go near Rome for a while, or at least Rome two. Um, I'll probably I'll probably switch to a game which isn't so constantly updated. Oh, that's a juicy target right there. Um, it, yeah, isn't so constantly updated um, as well because I don't because it's like it's annoying that you know I want to start a new campaign. Uh, of course, where is this? Oh, 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 you dicks! Subversion, sabotage, and assault garrison? What is up with you guys? Yeah, pillocks, right. You are seriously gonna get it now. Come on. Come on! Don't be. Please say they're still in range. No! Seriously! God damn it. Right, faction has been destroyed. Massageti. Right, okay. Let me fleet being cowards. Um, inspired populace. 
who are these people? Oh, over here! Oh, that's nice. They're actually being friendly now, which is pleasant. Okay, um... I reckon... Oh, no, no, no. We have to worry about this one first. War has been declared between the Bruki and the Delamente. Okay, so those guys are starting to expand a little bit too much, which is worrying. A new faction has emerged in some random area that I don't know, slash, not really concerned about. Right, we need to also... Um, okay, well, first of all, let's just rejig this. So, Amphori Maker, which is extra turn, or minus to construction costs. It's not bad. 190 wealth. Um, this could be used as an agricultural. Okay, we'll go for that. Um, you, I think, will have to dismantle, because I don't think we have any got any to convert. Haven't really got the funds. What about if I try and assassinate one of these people? Assassination. Very, very unlikely for it to work out. Manipulation. Once again, he they're about the same at equal level. What if I try and go for you? He's damn good. He's damn good. What about manipulation? Nope, no chance. Um, what about you? Once again, very good. In fact, less chances with that one. So who is the highest percentage again? You, wasn't it? Let's go for it. It's a bit of a waste of cash, but if it works... Yes! Okay, that's good. That's one thing. That's one of those guys dead, which is good. That's very good indeed. At least it means now we can enjoy... Um, We only had trade with Rome. How is Rome doing, by the way? I'm curious. Rome is in control of a lot still, which is good. They've actually allied themselves with those guys, and they are still at war with the Carthaginians. But that said, those two are kind of the two famous enemies of stuff, so I'm not really surprised. Um, you guys are about ready to... Yeah, I'm thinking... Okay, we can transfer armies now a bit as... Potentially, we can move off. We hunger. Ready for further orders. Boom. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, the Derenders of Larissia. How we about you guys? What can you guys battle. train? Okay, we can't really train them as that's still like a couple of turns away. But that said, it's not doing too bad. What am I doing here? That's the siege one, isn't it? Uh, attritional losses when besieging. Well, we'll get that. Um, and then afterwards, we'll possibly go for something more military-like. For example, that would be immensely helpful especially since we're having to spend a lot of cash at the moment just to keeping our armies alive. So that's something which is definitely going to be a good thing. And Rome is doing her thing. I tell you now, if I could have trade with Rome, I reckon that would strengthen the relationship between our Spartans and Rome. And if Rome could be on our side, hmm, that would be much more awesome. Because then, ag then again, then we could kind of turn our weakness into strength and say, "Haha! Now we have Rome on our side." And maybe the balance of power between us and the Macedonians would be as such that they may not be as capable to defend themselves against us. Because once, once we've gotten ourselves a stable, normal economy and having and have the abilities to um, defeat them at, you know, have the abilities to defeat them quite easily. So there. Uh, promotion target. Oh, noble woman. Great. Okay, she's ranked up to level four. What does this mean? Uh, boom. I'll have that. Uh, all commerce, which is nice, I guess. Um, I, I don't know, but still. Oh, yes. That's certainly good. Um, didn't work, which is good. And Tillis, unfortunately, has... Well, I say unfortunately. Right, these guys are once again just out of my range. Which is really annoying. But, um... That said, fingers crossed we can do that. Um... What do you wish you... We're going to convert you, aren't we? Boom. You? What could we have out of you? Ah, oh, city center. What's that? We don't have the tech for it, but... Extra sanitation, which is nice. Um, or we have that, which actually I'll get a library, which will mean we can get stuff. Okay, so not there. I think we will... I think we could go to war with the Brookie clan. 
I think it would be a wise idea to go for them. But we'll have to do it tactfully. Because at the moment, we're still kind of one army um, for our main forces. Which is, although useful, not perfect. At your command. Right, turn, turn on that one. So once again, we're going to have to kind of weather the storm a bit and just... I'd like this, you know, as much as, I mean, I'm, I imagine you guys are probably used to, um, for the to I don't know exactly though, what the routine is for a Total War campaign to be done, but I generally enjoy um, just this part of it, where we just sort of tactfully go through the stages of becoming a good civilization. I mean, at the moment we're, you know, not perfect, there's still some things I think we'd have to be mastering of, and obviously there'll be some technologies, which, which of which once I have got, I think that will very much strengthen my resolve. Um, that will certainly help, especially when it comes to having either a good economy or a good army. I mean, admittedly you need both, but if one is slightly better than the other, at least it gives you a slightly better advantage against, say, you know, the Macedonians or the Romans. God forbid if we should ever have to go to war with them. That said, if I had some trade coming in, this would be a hell of a lot easier. Alright, so we're currently work going through our front, fighting as much as possible. And, okay, so the enemy are really starting to piss me off with their constant attempts at doing stuff. The dumped. My poor Come freaking, my poor freaking guard at this, at this place is like, oh boy. How much is it to repair? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Right, you. Please allow us to kill you. Right, that's better than nothing. Yes! Brilliant. Okay, it's one thing sort of. Right, you, which is the cheapest? None of the. Oh, you are cheap. I can't really do anything, can I? Always because I can't afford it. Right. So we'll need to have some intelligence about that. What about you? Ah, you're stuck. Good, and you're only a slightly... Okay, you backed off again. Come on, be within my range. Please be within my range. Yes! You are dead. Yeah, screw it. Oh, no. That's actually kind of not as good. Okay, um, guys, we're going to have to go into the battle in order to save this from being an absolute disaster. Fingers crossed we don't get completely wrecked, um, but as I said, I'm not a very good naval commander, so fingers crossed we do well. We'll be extra careful, but think, you know, we'll hopefully annihilate them a lot more. So, see you in battle. And we're back. And we are in a bit of a better position than most, as we've got the ability to withstand a couple more rams, but that said, we are still in the rather precarious case of General. not being a very good naval commander. Assault but, um, we await your command. kind of got a plan, which possibly would require all of us doing something, but at the moment, I think... Ready. I thank my ancestors that they have given us an easy path to victory today. See, the enemy are weak. We are strong. Do not cast aside this opportunity for an easy victory. Make ready. I like that. He's actually paying attention to the battle now. Though that said, I disagree with him saying it's going to be easy. It still could be difficult. Support ships okay, you support ready. ships go up along here. Um, and... They might be withdrawing, but as they've run out of movement points, we might be lucky and... Oh, okay. And hopefully we'll Moving be able out. to do something with that. At your command. Support ship. I think if we can try and focus on making sure that one, we all target one at the same time. General. And sort of try and pincer in on their right, because at this point, we haven't got gunpowder. I, I'm, I'm much, in all honesty... I don't mean to brag, but I am much better when it comes to gunpowder ships. I work with gunpowder. <laughs> Look at what these guys are doing. <laughs> okay, I may not be bad, but I'm not that bad. Take advantage of it. As they say, never interrupt your enemy whilst... As Napoleon said once, never interrupt your enemy whilst making a mistake. Ready your weapons! As 
as you command. Ramming speed. Increase speed. Charge. Support ships at your command. And Skadoosh rammed right into him. And now he's actually kind of pincered my guys in. Wow. Oh shit, he's gonna ram mine. Ooh, taking a bit of a nasty punt. Alright. Do you like that? Do it to you. Right, can you get yourself out there? One of our ships is being boarded. Oh, it's being boarded as well. And bang. Moving out! The ship's been taken ahead. Alright. Ready, men! Show them steel! Right, you guys come that way. You guys go that way. You guys go that way. One of our ships is being boarded. Ooh, that crosses T. Get out of there. That way, you guys, get the hell out of there. Oh crap, no! An entire unit has perished! Crap, we've lost one of our ships. Ships ready! Knocked a couple of theirs out, which is nice. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh shit, now get the hell out of there. General! Full speed ahead! Give way! Ready, please! Pack them down! We await your command! General! Come on! Move Come out! On. Come on! Give way! You get out of there! Crewed and ready! Get at them! Support ships ready and waiting! Our general is under attack! He might be under attack, but he's gonna ram the living Our shit out of that ship over ahead. there! And it's the generals as well. Yes, nice. One guy is on board. The generals like, oh shit, oh shit, oh. oh come Weapons on, coward. Ready. Come on. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Coward. No, I'm gonna chase General. the living crap out yes, of you. Ah, oh, he's not gonna get it. No. The coward runs. What a coward. Well, we've captured a number of ships. Oh, chasing the big crap. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this one, guys. See you out on the campaign map. And we are victorious. Hopefully Waiting for a new gone. course. And have they sink? They sunk? Yep, they sunk. Brilliant. And the Illyrian Federation has decided to die. It is an which honor is to serve. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ah, good. We've got some stuff going. What's that? Nice. Um, what's this? Uh, recruitment loss, yeah. Oh, and, uh... Yeah, navigator. Good. Ooh, he can have this as well. Nice. Um... Probably that. Anyway, so, yeah, he's done a pretty good job. Yes. Recaptured this whole area, so now we can sort of start repairing stuff, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, well, not even, not, not repairing that, unfortunately. But that said, let's get, you know, we're kind of returning back to a normal state now. We've gone to war with the enemy. In the, in the whole course of this episode, we've not only gone to war with them, but we've also come back, won it, got it all sorted, and now we're preparing for the next one. It's going to have to be a case of win one war and go to the next one. Admittedly, it means that we don't have to worry too much, but when it comes to dealing with stuff, fingers crossed, though, our um, foe... Uh, Ruidi clan is kind of weakened from that. And also, the time it's taken, we can also get some new tech going, which is even better. But anyhow, so... We'll just have to wait and see, to be honest with you. I mean, fingers crossed what happens with the IADA guys is that they can keep the guys in Suggester busy enough that I can just quietly launch my assault on Singdu and um, once we declare war, because if, if I, they can have Suggester, they can totally have Suggester. Ooh! Ah, good. And we've now got a siege tower. Great. An alliance has been forged between Athens and Arbugger. And 
the faction joins the war against the Odyssean. Oh, oh, hello. They've they've done something different. Macedon is at threat. Okay, and a barracks has been completed there. That's good to see. Okay, well, what we can do is we can repair that, and we can repair that, which means we have absolutely bugger F all left. Don't worry, I've got this going. Right, okay. A shadow among shadows. <laughs> Look at that, no one's home. <laughs> nice. Um, yes, military settlement would probably be the next good idea, because it means less money going out and more money coming in. Uh, we've lost a ship or two, which is a bit of a shame. Docking. Oh, go, just go there, dock there, and get some reinforcements. Um, I mean, we're going to be pissing off the Athenians anyway, but this is looking pretty nice. Let's see, is there any other armies in the vicinity of this area? Okay, there is a rather large Bruiki army right there. They said they're all levy freemen. My guys. I could hire some mercenaries. Just get some mercenary hoplites or mercenary coastal levies or some cavalry. Just get some hoplites and get in there and do some damage. How much is their defenses? Um, lots of Celtic warriors. But those guys are, without, are out of range. So only 14 of their units. I've got 15 there already. So we might be able to do this. Those guys are currently fighting up there in the north. If I can, de if I can deny them a settlement over there, that will really hit them. Oh, sorry. Let's back up here. Right, okay, so as I was saying, if I can deny them, um, if I can deny them a settlement down here, I could, then those guys would have a lot less, would have a whole lot more relief on their front, whereupon then I can launch, you know, whereupon they can perhaps deliver the killing blow. It does mean, of course, that we've gone from one war being, you know, what waged and fought to the next war, and it's like, you know, no break in between, but that said also, we can at least do something about it, which is rather nice. <laughs> Five turns to that. That would be helpful as well to have. Um, though we could do with some trade. Trade would be nice. <laughs> okay. Random thing there. Okay, cool. So. I hire some mercenaries. One of them. Okay. One of them as much as I can afford. Bam! Look at my income. I've got 17 out of 20. We have got the technology of siege thing, so we can actually go in there and do some damage. Then we can come back out, hopefully annihilate them as we go in, win the winning the battle, capturing the settlement, and then going instantly to defending it. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Um, diplomacy. This is probably going to piss off a fair amount of people, but I don't care. You. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. Good. Well, guess what? I'm not going to do any of those. I'm going to say we're at war. Ready. Charge. to the settlement. Please don't have any backup. Please don't have any backup. Yes. No backup for you. Ladder times four. So this isn't a big settlement. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to have to. Let them cower like kennel dogs. Well, that's going to actually have to wrap this one up for this campaign episode. Oh, wow, one turn. I said it would probably be all right if I didn't have those guys there. So anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be taking this castle by force and once again doing a lot of damage in the name of Sparta. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like this kind of content, do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button and, of course, subscribing to the channel. If you yourself are a Total War player, or YouTuber, or a YouTuber who does Total War, feel free to let me know if there's anything I can do to improve the commentary, um, style of gameplay, or um, any hints and tips to make sh you know make my armies more effective in battle, or my economy, how to command Spartan Greeks, anything like that at all, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching this, guys. This is Crap Hunter signing out, and I'll catch you next time.